Today, I'm gonna teach you some really funky but more advanced drawing techniques. Drawing is as old as time itself. A lot of people do really cool, interesting, realistic drawings. I'm gonna show you some different techniques that you've probably never heard of before. This will be used all year long when we do our journaling. What's really interesting about drawing and sketching is that it actually uses the math parts of your brain. So they've mapped this out before, they've watched brains as people draw, and you're actually using the math part of your brain to draw, which is really fascinating. So today we're gonna to be using the Chromebook. If you could please go ahead and open your Chromebook. We need to find Google Classroom, so whatever you need to do, go to the launch pad or just look it up. What I need you to go is I need you to go where you see all of your classes on your Google Classroom, and then give me a thumbs up. All right, awesome. So now we're gonna go to Art at Home, fifth grade. So go to Art at Home, fifth grade. Where I need you to go now is classwork up at the top. And you are going to find our latest project. It's gonna be week six, advanced drawing techniques. We're gonna be doing a few different things. We are going to be, uh, well, I'm gonna be showing you some advanced drawing techniques that you can use this year. For right now, just put your pencil and your sketchbook to the side we're gonna be recreating our digital portfolio. So some of you had practice over the remote learning, but here's the problem was, is that I saw a lot of people making so many copies of it, or they just were so confused they couldn't turn it in. So I just decided that we're gonna redo it. We're gonna redo our selfies and put them all in there. And we're gonna try it again. This time we're gonna do it all together. So whether you're remote or in person, you're gonna be doing it with me. All right, so you're gonna to go to the assignment. What I want you to do is I want you to go to view assignment. Don't click on these, just go to view assignment, skip all that junk. Um, I'm going over the one, two, three right now, so you don't need to do that. I just want you to go over here to your work. It is going to be so tempting to press that black button, but please do not press that black button because your portfolio will become mine. I don't know what the reason is, but if you press the turn in button, it will make your portfolio mine. I become the owner and you can't edit it. So what I want you to do is I just want you to go under your work, press your name, it should be up there, and it should be a brand new portfolio. It looks a little bit different than the last one if you did it over remote, and it should have your personal name on it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this out. What I want you to do now as I'm speaking is I just want you to find that G, click right before it, then I want you to press five, T, H, space, so that it says fifth grade art portfolio. Then go down to name, fill in your name. Just put your first and last name, please. Then put your school, then put your teacher. teacher. It's not gonna be me, it's gonna be your homeroom teacher. So I'm just going to pretend that mine is Mrs. Brian. And then give me a thumbs up once you have this first slide complete. And then we'll move like on. Like I said, some of you have already done this. We're just gonna do it again. So you should be an expert at it. First thing I want you to do is click the picture. On this is on slide two, so we've moved to slide two. Go to replace image. You're gonna press camera and then take an image of your choice. It can be silly, it can be funny, it can be crazy. I'm not wearing my mask because I'm all alone in the school recording this. Go ahead and take a photo and then press replace and it should be there. All right, so there's mine. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up once you have an interesting selfie. All right, next you're gonna go to these little dots. Find the end of where it says I am and then all these dots, press backspace, backspace, backspace until they're all gone. I want you to put one fact about you. It could be, hi, I'm Xavier and I'm in football or hi, I'm Latif and I like to run. I don't, I don't care, just put one fact about you. It can be something crazy. I put, I am an art teacher. I know, mind blowing, right? So go ahead and put one thing that you are and then give me a thumbs up so we can move on. All right, next, I want you to find those second set of dot, dot, dots and get rid of them, and this is gonna take forever. I'm sorry guys, I just like to torture you, so that's why I put so many dot, dot, dots. I just wanna make sure that you are fully tortured every time you come to art. All right, once they're all gone, I want you to put one thing you wanna learn about. You can copy what you put on your last portfolio if you did it, and I'm gonna put painting, but you could put dinosaurs, you could put building, you could put sports, who knows? Maybe we can do sports in art. Go ahead and put one thing you wanna learn more about in art this year. All right, and then in a moment, we are going to go to slide five and insert a picture of something that we're gonna do in this sketchbook. But for right now, if you could please close your and push it away so you're not tempted to open it for now, I'm gonna be teaching you some different drawing techniques. All right, next thing I need you to do is I need you to find page six 
Once you've found page six inside your sketchbook, open it up. I want you to pick one item from your bag that you can draw. It could be a pack of crayons, it could be markers. I'm gonna use this glue bottle just because it might be a little bit more interesting. We're gonna try drawing this glue bottle in about maybe three or four different ways on this blank sheet of paper. And this will teach you some advanced techniques. They may seem kind of silly, especially when we get to blind contour, which is my favorite. It's always really hilarious how they turn out. And um, give me a thumbs up when you're ready to begin. Awesome. If you could, please go ahead and sharpen your pencil. You should have brought a sharpener in your bag. If you don't have one, let me know and I'll give you a temporary one, but you do have to give it back. So first we're gonna try doing contour. We're gonna be doing um, these drawings on the blank sheet of paper and then we're also gonna label them. So you do wanna kinda spread them apart. A contour means that you are just drawing the outside. Don't worry about the little details. We're just doing a contour line. So think about what it actually looks like. It has little ridges on the outside. It has lines, some are curved, some are straight. So let's give it a go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing and I'm drawing only the lines that I see. So as you saw, I drew the outside only. Don't worry about all the crazy details of whatever it is. Just draw the outside. I'll set a timer for two minutes. Just try your best. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. All right, so before we move on to the next one, we're gonna do contour. I need you to label it so that you can refer to this later in case I test y'all on it. So this is called contour, C-O-N-T-O-U-R. And if you forget how to spell it, it's secretly on the next page. All right, now we're gonna move on to the continuous um, contour. This is a little bit harder. So during this, we drew the lines. Now we're going to do it again, or you can switch to a different item, it's up to you. However, the rule is, because it's continuous, you can't pick up the pencil. And so people are like, oh no, what am I gonna do? All right, so just watch me first. I am drawing, but I can't pick up the pencil. So I have to do all those lines again. It's okay if it doesn't turn out right. It's gonna look a little bit crazy. Once we get to blind contour, you probably won't even recognize it anymore. But what's interesting about this is you're actually using the parts of your brain that are for math. So you're actually exercising the math part of, of your brain by doing this because your mind is making measurements and it makes it harder. If you make the drawing harder, it's using more brain power. All right, there is my continuous contour. Give me a thumbs up, just give it a try. Don't lift up your pencil, but try drawing it all again. All right, now we're gonna write continuous contour. All right, here comes the funny one. So a blind contour is when you look at something and you draw it, but you can't look at the paper. You can't look at where your pencil's going. You can't look at the drawing at all. You only have to look and draw. So I'm just kind of tracing, obviously, in the air where I would go. You want your eye and pencil to match. So if I, my eye moves down, my pencil moves down. So I'm gonna do a blind contour real quick, and I promise you it's not going to look exactly like the glue bottle anymore. It's gonna this look crazy. This is literally the blind contour. So my brain was trying to follow where my pencil was going, but only looking at the glue bottle. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna be watching and making sure that you're not looking at your paper. It's gonna be really tempting to, but I promise it's not gonna look anything like a glue bottle anymore. So it's kind of gone from realistic to non-realistic. Try your best to do a blind contour without looking at the paper. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. If you haven't already, go ahead and label your second continuous. I spelt it wrong because I'm an artist, not the best speller, but it's called C-O-N-T-I-N U O U S. Continuous. And then give me a thumbs up when you're ready. And then we're going to label the other one blind contour. All right. We're going to put blind B L I N D. And just so people know, it's a contour, not an actual drawing. C O N T O U R. Blind contour. And give me a thumbs up. So now we're gonna upload some of these images to our Chromebook. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. It should still be on the portfolio. Give me a thumbs up when your Chromebook is open and you can see your portfolio. Awesome. So now we're gonna go to slide number, let's see, slide number five. And it says sketches and journal pages, which is exactly what we just did. This time I want you to go to insert image, 
camera, and you're gonna take a picture of each one of your drawings, even if you don't like them. I wanna see them inside your portfolio. One image already of my contour. I'm gonna go ahead and press insert, and now it's there. I'm gonna go ahead and take pictures of the other two, get them in there, and I'll tell you what to do next. When you have all three on here, you are welcome to kinda size them down, size them up if you want, maybe make your favorite the biggest one, but try to get it so that we can see all of them, so I'm just kind of sizing them down. Um, give me a thumbs up once you have all of these images inside slide five, and then we're gonna move on to our next activity. These images, you can go ahead and press the X, close it out, you don't have to worry. Remember, please do not press the turn in this time. I've learned my lesson, it didn't work. It, every time people turned it in, I became the owner of it. We're gonna go ahead and close our Chromebook for now. And what I want you to do is I want you to finish decorating your journal. If you have your supplies with all the color, please add some color to this. You can go ahead and draw on the back. It's totally up to you. Have a wonderful day. I'm excited to see what you're going to make.